In this activity, we're going to identify an incorrect configuration on the PC. User of PC2 is not able to access the website. We're going to use ping command to identify the problem. So we need to go to access the web browser. So we're going to go to desktop, web browser, and we're going to type in the server URL, which is Cisco learn.more.com and there it can access so PC4 can get to the website let's go to number three desktop web browser type in the URL cisco learn dot more dot com and that one can access Try it on PC2, desktop. So it seems as though this one cannot. So it's PC2. So let's try the last one. It's PC1. And that one. So PC2 seems to be unable to view the website. We're going to go back to PC2. Go to the command prompt. We're going to ping the server. It's golearn.more.com. There's no response so far. Now let's go to PC1. Go to the command prompt. Let's ping Cisco learn.more.com. And it replies. So now we're going to go back to PC2. Ping the address of the web server. So go back to command prompt. Let's ping 192.15.2.10. So there's a reply. That means it can reach the web server, but there might be something wrong with the DNS configuration. Let's go back to PC1. IP config all. This will give us all the information on that. And then we open up PC2 command prompt. Let's IP config all. Do they match the configuration? This number is 191, whereas this number is 192. So there's a problem with the DNS configuration. So we need to go configure. Then we need to change the DNS server to 192. 15255. After that's changed, we need to verify that it, it's going to work now. So we go back to the desktop. Go to the web browser, type in cisco dot, cisco learn dot more dot com. Go, and now it can access the website. So, and there you have it. Check the results, and we complete it.